I need to deserve that, you know? How can I just ask more from the father? Mm -hmm. Do you get it? And when you go to the father, father, who said that? You don't, you get what you ask and you are not tapping into his generosity because you have not understood grace. Mm -hmm. So we are still uh, operating from a, a logical mind that makes us think that we only get what we deserve. Why should we get more? Mm -hmm. It's like the prodigal son. That's, that's, that's not, not the prodigal son, but the other son. He said, why are you making this the party for, for, for this son? He already took his money. You never did nothing for me. But he was there. He could have done anything with that. And actually, the prodigal son now is getting more. Because he already spent his money and then he's going to spend whatever is in there now. That was my yeah. next passage. <laughs> the prodigal son. You mm -hmm. <laughs> Because you <didn't>... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. So it's the same thing, right? So one is that the, the mindset where we tend to think we have to, uh, we have to earn <clears throat> from the father. Mm -hmm. And one is the mindset that thinks my father is generous, I can tap in freely and I will always get more than I deserve because my father is generous. That's my mindset. So what, how you mm -hmm. look at your father God is what matters. How do you see your father? Your father I'm in generous. heaven, do you really see him as generous? And if so... Don't be afraid to ask him. We put expectations on people. Stop doing that. Put your expectations on him. So all the expectation that you're wanting, wanting to put on your spouse or your job, your business or your relationship, put it on him. Thank put you. it on him and Thank say, God, there is this vacuum in my heart that I'm not really receiving and, and I'm looking in the wrong place. I'm going to look to you. I'm going to look to you for validation, not, not this world of people. I'm looking to you for it. Looking, and you know what happens? Honestly, we get so full. We get so full of that love, that validation, that caring that we are looking for, that then suddenly in our marriage, we're looking to give, not get. Because you've got it already. You've got it from God. Yeah. The problem happens when you're looking for it from the spouse. And somewhere along the way, you get the other person gets drained. It's like, oh my God, I'm giving and giving and giving okay. and giving. This person is just taking. Saying, Do you know what I'm saying? And we get drained. But actually, when we go to God and get filled, we're coming into a relationship or into our job or into anything. So, so let's look at the job. So we go into a job. You can have two mindsets. I'll do just how much I need to do. Okay? Which was the 12 hour people. Or you can go in uh, thinking... I am here not just for my paycheck. I'm here to be a blessing. Man looks at the face, God looks at the heart. And finally, our promotions do come from God. Mm. Right? And so if you're looking, if we go in thinking, this is my time, this is what is expected of me. Anyway, they're not, not even really paying me. This is what I'm going to do and I'm out of here. That's what you'll get. It's not good to be on the mindset. No. You don't... You'll only get that. Yeah. No, but not only, not only that, I mean, it, it's frustrated. It, I mean, it's frustrated. Exactly. You can you don't actually, I mean, you don't. <laughs> exactly. I have high expectations. You know, he's saying don't 